Okay, now for the big video, and I'm going to try to keep this one very simple, as simple as possible, and give you some proper definitions and terms. Again, I'm kind of doing this unscripted, uh, so it'd be the same as if I was giving a class or a course uh, with no books or any plans, so bear with me. But what we're going to talk about is problems and anomalies. And again, I'm going to completely not say that word properly, but who cares? You get it because you can see the screen. Now, <clears throat> My first view is my experience cards. And again, I'll express how important it is to get your attributes correct, create your perspectives, and then create your world based off your perspectives. From that, we can create our experience cards and we can make them useful for us. Uh, we talked about, again, slow transactions. So slow transactions, again, is the number of transactions that went beyond the average response time alert threshold. Okay, uh, what is the tool took to... Zero trans transactions and 50 complete transactions of much. Uh, okay, so that don't make any sense. Um, our error, three errors per interval, um, metric values of the experience nodes. So technically, <coughs> um, basically errors. Okay, so we'll, we'll get a little bit more detail in a few seconds. Um, our average response time. So this is in one second, two seconds, and in more seconds. And based off of these three, um, we have a total. And we have a list of problems, we have a list of uh, anomalies. And I'll explain those definitions in just a few seconds. Let me go ahead and just dig one more deeper. I don't like starting from the top, I wanna to go a little bit deeper. Um, and then here, that didn't really help, so let's just go ahead and click on it. <clears throat> this gives me a breakout, so I see my average response times, and now I can see some transactions. What I wanna talk about is what you see up here, okay? And we'll get to those in just a few. Let's see if I can go a little bit deeper. So what this did was this brought us to our notebook. Now, the concept of the notebook is really cool because what a notebook does is it combines uh, a couple things. Basically, it looks at you and says, hey, you're about to do some work, right? So let's go ahead and let's combine our relationship map, which is what you have here, and our metrics view, which is this, and of course, our list of our problems over here. Now, the definition of those problems can be very interesting. If you think back to school, let's go up one level. And I lied, I'm gonna go directly to my notebook, which is here. So think of your notebook as, now I need to do some work, okay? And there's many different places to get to this. Now, it still looks the same. Um, I was hoping I'd had some anomalies, but I don't. So we'll talk about those in a few. Um, in fact, I have no data. This is the sum of this, a better visual. Let's see if I can get a better view. Again, I apologize, I'm just trying to, oh. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's go back. Let's stay in our live mode. Um, it would be super nice if I had some data to show you. Uh, so you definitely will. Um, I just don't have anything cool. All right, so this, all right, so we'll just stick with this. But let's say, I know this has two problems. Okay, so I'm going to dig into this. So if you notice what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to get deeper and deeper. Not a lot of transactions, not a lot going here. Uh, so that was no good to me. We'll just, let's just see what happens if I open the notebook at this level. All right, so we'll just go with this. Um, but the concept is, I have 100%. Eh, it's not really accurate. What we're trying to figure out is, back in school, if you remember the five big Ws, what, where, who, when, and why. And that's what we're trying to answer with this, okay? So for an example, what summarizes the event, including any suspected causes, okay? And I'm trying to remember these, so bear with me which is basically this, okay? And then we have where, well, where did it happen? Okay, that's here, okay? Um, and then who? Now, we'll get to the who in a few seconds, um, but the, this is the who, right, possible. So we're telling you this might be where you need to go look, okay? Again, that's app maps, that really doesn't do me any good. I was hoping I could find some applications here. This is Inscript Web View, so that doesn't do me any good either, but, the when, pretty common sense, time frame, and then the why. So the why explains an event that occurred, okay? So that's what this little bar over here is trying to show you, this little menu, if you will. So no matter where I'm at in my process, and if this, see, it's still here. Okay, this is a little bit better. No, it's still the same ones. 
What I was trying to find is if there was something that was code related. So then you could see that. So let's go back to live view. Let me try this one last time. Um, and I'm going to get rid of my timeline. The timeline is obviously, it tells us the when, and it obviously takes us right to it. So let's just go ahead and I really wish I had a really bad example. There's no traffic back then. And I apologize. This is what happens when you work in your domain and you don't have a lot of agents or a lot of apps doing anything. Okay. Um, great. I have no data. So let's just refresh. Um, let's go back. So I was trying to give you a way to help you triage because that's what we're trying to learn here, okay? Now, again, you have the what, where, who, when, and why. Now, this is going to be hard to understand. What's the difference between these at the bottom versus a problem? Now, if you want to know the definition, if I remember correctly, is when what we call the assisted triage has enough information to identify affected experiences, then the evidence has moved up here. Until then, it tells you, hey, you should look at this, okay? So if you remember in the older days, and probably some of you didn't use APM back then, but we had a what's interesting. And that's pretty much where, in my opinion, where this was growing to. So what's interesting means something has kind of changed, but it's not a problem you probably should go look at it. So basically, when, when the gathering evidence is in the early stages, so we don't answer the what, when, who, what, when, and why yet, um, but the evidence does not point to any affected experiences at that moment, the evidence is named anonymy. Okay? So they're like problems, but they're with no user impact at that moment. So I hope that makes sense. You may have to ask me to type that out for you um, or listen to the video a couple of times. But, and again, you might get that from the help as well. Um, now, with saying that, that's kind of cool. You can jump directly to map. You say map view there, but that's okay. But saying that, how do we get that what, when, where, who, and why? So we're going to try to do some debugging. Now, if I click on one of these, it gives me more information, okay? So we're going to go to it. And again, this probably isn't very well because, um, again, that's not a real application. So I have my time, okay? We have our what, we have our where, uh, we have our who. Now, now I want to go debug this, okay? So now I'm going to open up my notebook. Remember, my notebook is my triage. And notice it took me right to it. Okay, now I can go in. Now, the cool thing is if there was more information, like I wish there was a database problem. Notice the doggy ears. Um, give it one second to refresh. Um, I can get more information. I can, the affected application components. Um, this is very cool. You can actually dig down and you'll notice it takes you to all the information down here as well. Um, so I can go directly to it. Now, again, this is not very helpful because this tells me WebView is broke, which is our tool. Uh, the truth is it's just in a domain and there's not a lot going on. Um, but if it was a database issue, it would tell you the, um, it a lot of times it tells you the store procedure or what was going on in the database. If it was a code level, it would take you right to it. So maybe I can do this again um, some other time and actually use it with real data. But if you notice when I click on the possible culprit, remember that's the who, Okay, then it tells me that there's um, unstable, unstable response time. Sorry, which basically means um, you know you're not getting the correct response time. Um, are there any alerts asserted to this? And you know if this gives you enough information, or at least it should, to figure out where your problem is. The biggest thing is to, and I can also copy the URL and send it to somebody. Now the the most important thing to realize is time versus effort. How long did it take to get to that issue? The truth is it doesn't take long at all once you have everything set up the way you wanted it. So again, when I once I clicked on this URL, it brought me right to it. Um, so let's close these. That's where I had it open earlier. Now, 
when you say time versus effort, what does that really mean? So I'm here, I have set up my attributes, I have set up my um, experience cards, which means I've also set up my perspectives. I see that there's problems, um, I have issues, I'm going to go into these issues. Now, again, if you notice, open this notebook is everywhere, okay? Um, but so I want to go start triaging. I'm going to click on this. It's going to take me right to it, and I can see my information up here. And then I can see exactly where my issues are, okay? And I can actually dig deeper into these to see what more is going on. Um, and if you notice, when I clicked on it, it loaded. It took me right to what we used to call WebView. Uh, it took me right to it, which is, in my opinion, very impressive. It's something fairly new, um, but I like it. And then also, if I say, you know what, this back end seems to be having some, what's this one? Well, the both of them are on, both of them have to do with response times, uh, which isn't a good thing to be triaging. But the point is, quickly, I got to my issue, and I'm able to identify where the problem may be and who all is affected. Because we all know, if I have a data, if I have a front end problem, it's hardly ever the front end. A lot of times it's the database, you know, what SQL's running the longest and things like that. But I'm hoping, minus the definitions, because again, with the definitions, they, they take a lot to memorize. So, you know, use the help to get the definitions. Again, this is probably a great thing here. Um, you know, so I would, I would definitely spend the time and whatever page you're on in uh, ETC, whoops, closed it whatever page you're on actually shows the help okay so keep that in mind whenever you're doing this if you want to know say okay what does this really mean this response time what are these ghost colors right what does all that mean well if that's the case then use the help it's very helpful so I'll do a recap video but I'm hoping this helps you realize how quick it is to get to your to get to your problems on the page uh, problems within your applications Definitely, definitely work with the um, understanding this because to me this is very useful. Um, the one thing I always said about application performance monitoring uh, with the Broadcom products is that this information over here is extremely useful when other applications you have to go dig for this. And in the older days, I used to have to give training videos on how to find this information just by looking at your metrics. Here, uh, Team Center brings it right to the surface for you. So this tells you, hey, you know what? These are infected, but we believe this is the one that's causing the problem. And then at least gives you a start, if not the answer, for fixing your issue. So I hope this was helpful. To me, it was very short. So I hope you got enough information in it to understand if I start from my top, the number one question is, how do I fix my issue? How do I see my issues? Now, again, all this is... Now, now, the issues are not driven from your attributes, but your views, your ability to, to manage what you're looking at is built off your attributes. So again, whenever you're starting your application, really think about those attributes. Now, it's not record stopping uh, or show stopping, what are you gonna say, if you don't have all the attributes at the beginning, because you can always add them. You can always change your perspective. You can have, I don't know if there's a limit on these experience cards, but I've never known anybody to hit it. So you can have as many experience cards as you want. Uh, just keep that in mind. All right, so I hope this was helpful.